everyone. My name is Antonia Nazzolo. I run the YouTube channel Apps with Antonia, where we talk all things tech. We review apps, we talk about software topics, and we interview app entrepreneurs. Today, we're meeting with Brett. We're going to be talking about all things digital marketing, and I'll let him introduce himself. Brett, thanks for being on the show. Hi, yeah, thank you, Antonia. As she mentioned, my name is Brett Vodofsky. I'm a paid search specialist at Element, a digital agency. Um, and yeah, I, I'm obsessed with all things digital marketing and specialize in paid search. So very giddy to start digging into the topic of you know digital marketing with you. Let's get to it. My first question. So many people only think of SEO when they think of digital marketing. What other services do digital marketing agencies offer? Yeah, so it definitely depends on the agency. I'll try to avoid giving you too many it depends answers because there's a lot of that when it comes to digital marketing. But yeah, it, it depends on the agency. Uh, there's what you, what you have uh, called boutique agencies, which typically have a specialization. You'll find some that specialize in paid media. You'll find some that are even more specialized and only uh, do paid social. But then you also find full service agencies as well. It really comes down to what you're looking for, what you already have. And then I'd also just argue that like when it comes to digital marketing, there's so much more than just SEO that can provide your business value. Uh, digital marketing encapsulates so many different practices. So definitely would highly encourage, you know, taking the time to look up what all is encapsulated within digital marketing and deciding which practices you believe will be most beneficial to your business mm -hmm. or company. How long is a proper trial period with a new digital marketing agency? Should you expect to see results in one week or one month or six months? So I would say like, if you're not seeing anything, like any traction by like the second week, you should probably start asking some questions like, Hey, like mm -hmm. what have you actually done in the platform to, you know, provide value to us? Um, but it's definitely a loaded question because it, it depends on the extent of the project or the um, difficulty of the project. You know, is this a super large yeah. scale account that's going to have 30 different campaigns or do they only sell one product or have one lead form that we need to point towards, thus reducing the amount of effort on our end as an agency for you to see results. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it's definitely it definitely depends. Again, I, I told you everything in marketing. <laughs> Everything in marketing is so subjective. It's, yeah. it's very subjective. Um, but I would say generally, like you should be seeing results early on. Like there's always yeah. low hanging fruits that a new agency can help mm. identify and work on. So if they're not working on those low hanging fruits right away, then I'd, I'd be questioning something. So there's so many places to advertise. You can advertise on Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Display Network, and more. How do you work with clients to determine what the best avenues would be for them? Yeah, so if it's a new client, I tend to like to look at what they already have running. If they have no digital marketing set up already, I mean, I'm a paid search guy, so that's always one of the first <laughs> things I try and get people uh, to get started up on. Um, I believe that paid search and paid social present really large opportunities for brands to try and scale and uh, drive awareness and drive sales as well, not just awareness. So those are typically the two channels that I like to recommend the most. Uh, but then there's also the factor of like, you have to consider the quality of your website as well before even considering like what marketing panels to use, because those channels are only going to perform as well as your website, right? Like conversion rate is yeah. dependent somewhat based on what your landing page looks like and you know the ux and ui of it so I, I would recommend to the client before even considering the channel like let's take a look at your website and just see what opportunities live there when you think about different levels of the funnel there's like kind of like that awareness stage that brand awareness stage and when i think about brand awareness the platforms that typically come to mind are facebook instagram like all the social platforms and perhaps YouTube as well. Those platforms generally just sit like in an area at a touch point that is like more of a brand awareness stage for the user. Whereas if you want to target users and create more immediate sales and not necessarily have to nurture them right after, um, lower funnel tactics are the you know way you want to go, which would be things like paid search. Your field is always developing and advancing. How do you stay educated in your space? 
how many hours of studying per week or month might be necessary for someone in your position to really stay on top of things. Yeah, this is a subject that I'm, I'm really passionate about. And I'm sure you've seen me post about this stuff on LinkedIn and Twitter, mm -hmm. but I, I like to indulge upon as much information when it comes to digital marketing as possible, especially paid search. So there's a lot of resources that I'll tend to go to, to, to look for this kind of stuff. Uh, some of my favorite ones are search engine land, search engine journal, the paid search association is really starting to ramp up their game and live as a source of truth for paid search practitioners. Uh, I would also just recommend following industry leaders in some of those, like if say, again, my practice is paid search. If you're into PPC, then for sure, check out who the top 25 PPCers in the game are, follow them. And typically they're some, amongst the first to know about platform updates or mm -hmm. they're the first to share different strategies and stuff. So yeah, definitely look to what other people are doing to inspire yourself. Okay, so since you do all the paid certs, you're targeting people specifically. Tell us how creepy you can get. Can you say like a, a male over 40, under 50 with two kids, they like soccer? Can you, you get, can get like that? You can totally get creepy if you want. So like, you know, the ads, you know, the ads that like follow you around from mm -hmm. one website to another. That's yeah. definitely something that like a paid search practitioner is putting in place. That's called remarketing. Mm -hmm. And I think most people tend to find that kind of creepy. They're like, I was just on this site. How is it now? How does this ad now targeting me on this website? It's mm -hmm. not even but uh, that's definitely one of the more creepy aspects of search. <laughs> um, targeting wise, I guess it, it's, you can get, you get pretty granular. You can say that, yeah, I'd like to target females over the age of X. Like that's mm -hmm. certainly a possibility. Um, there's tons of like, there, there's different like automation that goes on behind the scenes that maybe we don't necessarily have totally total visibility in, but there's different mm -hmm. audiences that Google puts together as well uh, called in-market audiences, which is oh. essentially users that have already uh, displayed interest in a certain product. There could be an in-market audience for, for books. Okay. Uh, that might be an audience that we decide that we want to bid on and exclusively target. So we can now target specifically book lovers, which is, I guess, kind of creepy. I would say that's creepy too. <laughs> Some of these things sound pretty complex and fancy. Do, does a small business need to do those things or can they just have some good SEO and digital market with some Facebook ads? Uh, I recommend for, for, for most businesses to at a minimum test into PPC uh, or mm. paid search specifically. Uh, I really don't see any reason not to try it. Um, you can get so specific with your targeting, so specific uh, with the various keywords that you want to use that it seems likely that you're going to be able to drive value for your business by, yeah. uh, you know, using that channel. So highly recommend it for anyone looking to scale their business to try out paid search. Why do you love digital marketing so god dang much? <laughs> <laughs> So anybody wondering why I love digital marketing so much, specifically paid search, just type into Google, uh, why does Brett love paid search and click the first result. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the article will be from the paid search association. Shout out the paid search association, by the way. Uh, Shout they, out. I had won a contest recently by expressing my love for paid search. So. Uh, there's so many reasons. I think I really like the challenge of it all. I know a lot of people will say that that's the reason why they like it too. It, it's like a puzzle. You got to find a way to make all the different targeting fit together mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, tell your brand story in a way that's going to drive value for that brand. Uh, so yeah, there's tons of reasons I like it. I'm trying to think of some other ones, perhaps the fact that it's evolving so quickly and there's new developments every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a big fan of educating yourself. I believe education is oftentimes the key to innovation. So being that I love to study and research so much and that this is such an evolving field, it just, it just seems fitting for me. You are a nerd, so you like that stuff. <laughs> That's like, see, I, I'm laughing when you call me a nerd because I find it as a compliment. I know, I that's I why I called you it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call you it if you didn't take it as a compliment. There's definitely some things I want to shout out. So shout out the Paid Search Association. Go sign up. Um, definitely a great place to be. The forums are nice. Um, participate in those and, you know, learn from others.
Also, join in on the hashtag PDC chat conversations that take place over on Twitter Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're also now hosting that over on Clubhouse. Last week, we did it in real time. However, I think then I think this coming week or the next instance of PPC chat, we might do it the day after. So we're not struggling to figure out how to do it in real time and conversate about it in real time. Outside of that, um, if you wanna learn paid search, uh, don't hesitate to, to check out Google Skillshop. Um, really great videos there to learn Google ads. So highly recommend checking that out. Search engine journal, search engine land, shout out all those publications as well. Fabulous shout outs. Thank you so much, Brett, for being on the show today. I learned a lot and I'm excited to share my learnings with my clients and other people. Thank you and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.